Hey everybody, today we're going to be opening up an Astral Radiant CTB. It should come with 8 packs and all the usual stuff an ETB does. Let's open it up and see if we can get some cool pulls. So is everyone excited for the Crown Tundra set that's coming out soon? I know I am. It's going to be the last set in the Sword and Shield era. That's pretty iconic. Be a good time to talk about what everyone's favourite set from the Sword and Shield series was. I know one of mine would have to be Evolving Skies, Brilliant Stars, Chillin' Rains. Some of the special sets too were heaps cool, like Shining Fates, Champion's Path, and Pokemon Go, Celebrations. Celebrations is probably one of my favourite of the special sets. It was so cool being able to pull the Charizard again. We actually pulled every single card on the channel. It should be on a playlist. Make sure you check it out if you're interested in it. So what was everyone's favourite thing they collected this year? One of ours would have to be the Celebrations Master Set. We also collected heaps of vintage cards this year. We got the Team Rocket Set and the First Edition one. We're probably only a few cards away from finishing our Brilliant Stars Master Set as well. That would be such a cool looking set once it's done. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see a video of it. It'd probably have to be my favourite set. The gold birds and it look insane. The Articuno, Zapdos and Moltres. Even the Arceus V-Star looks incredible. I mean it's pretty underrated so far. Also the first set to have the trainer gallery in it as well. So it's another pretty cool thing. But the Old Art Charizard would probably have to be my favourite card in the set. Alrighty, so free code. Pack number one. If you redeem the codes, let us know what you get in the comments below. Be interested to know. But uh, according to TCG Player, the alternate art Charizard's 1 in 450 packs. So a pretty tough card to get. Alrighty, let's see what we get. Got a Stanla, a Regirago Reverse Hollow, a nice uh, Samurott Hollow. Not too bad. Hopefully we can get some better luck in the next packs. Just quickly sleep these ones up. So yeah, Brilliant Stars is my favourite set so far out of the Sword and Shield series. It sucks that there wasn't more packs printed here in Australia. It's a very, very hard set to find, to be honest. Another set where the packs are impossible to find, but it is one of my favourites, is Evolving Skies. I've heard everyone talking about reprints for it, but we didn't get too much here in Australia. So far all I've been able to find is a couple of ETBs. Hopefully that will change though and there'll be some more on the shelf soon. It'd be pretty nice. The rainbow cards in that set look crazy. Like the rainbow rare Gyarados and Rayquaza. It'd be so cool to get one of those one day. Alrighty, let's see what we can get from pack number two. Got a Poochiana. A Swinub. A Reverse Hollow Absol. And a Wine Deer V. That's pretty cool. It's a nice looking card, that one. But yeah, it's such a big set of Bulban Skies. I don't think I'd be able to fill up the Master set of it. Just haven't opened up anywhere near enough packs. It'd be such a cool looking Master set though. The Umbreon Altar looks incredible. What's everyone's favourite way of collecting? Do you like trying to fill up Master sets? Do you grade your cards? Or do you prefer keeping your product sealed? Let us know in the comments below. We like to do a little bit of everything. We've got a couple of sealed products, collect mostly master sets, but um, we've got a few cards graded as well, just mainly older vintage ones. But definitely mainly prefer collecting master sets and binders. We've got the base set, Jungle, Fossil, Team Rocket Unlimited, Team Rocket First Edition, and that's just the vintage ones. Oh, we've got a Dwalt Reverse Hollow and a Leafy on Rare. Not bad. And then, yeah, we've also got a Celebrations Master Set. Almost finished a Brilliant Stars one. And we've got a lot more partial ones, but they're so big these days, they're hard to fill up. Got so close to a full Chillin' Rains, a full Fusion Strike, and a Shining Fates one as well, but... There's so many cards in them, and some of the alt art cards have been skyrocketing lately. It's definitely going to take us a lot longer to fill up a few of those sets. The Fusion Strike one's so big. 
that the master set won't fit in a 480 card slot binder. And that's not even including all the promos and stuff like that. Alrighty, let's see what we've got in this pack. A reverse hollow Sneasler and a Arcanine. Just the rare. Let's quickly sleeve this one up. We've definitely had better ETB so far. I reckon our luck would turn around. We've usually had pretty good luck with ETB so far. That's another good question. What's everyone's favorite type of product to open up? I usually find that I only get one ultra rare card in the booster box. Whereas sometimes an ETB or a building battle stadium can get better odds in them potentially. I'm not sure though, that's just what I've found so far from opening up a couple. Uh, I'd love to know what everyone else thinks about it. Booster boxes or ETBs and building battles and stuff. Oh, we've got a reverse hollow med spirit and a red Urago rare. Not too bad, we'll quickly sleeve this one up for our collection. Hopefully we're saving the best packs till last though. So two more packs to go. Let's hope our luck turns around. Make sure you smash the like button if you like the video so far. And if there's any topics you want us to talk about in our next video, make sure you put them in the comments below. I've been enjoying making these videos of just talking about random Pokemon stuff with you guys. Hopefully you've all have been enjoying them as well. Hopefully one day when Australia gets better internet, we'll be able to do these type of videos live with everyone. That'd be heaps cool being able to interact with all of our subscribers. Alright, let's see what we've got. A reverse Hello Dartrix and a Reggie Rock. What's everyone's thoughts on Astral Radiance so far? I haven't opened up too many packs of it yet, but I've gotten some pretty cool cards out of it. We got the Altar Beedrill, heaps out of the Trainer Gallery, and a few other full arts as well. And it's been pretty lucky for us so far. Hopefully we can keep that luck going today. The Beedrill was probably one of my favorite cards in the set, and we managed to pull it in one of the first packs we opened. The Rainbow Marchant's probably my chase card at the minute. It looks so cool. Alright, let's see what we can get. We've got a Nicket. Ooh, we've got a Zassian V from the Trainer Gallery. And a Regiragus Hollow. That looks heaps cool with Hop in the background. Oh, I'm happy as about that card. I wanted that one. The Zamazenta looks really cool too with Hop as well. The Trainer Gallery card's been looking crazy these days. There's so many I like from these sets. We pulled the Flapple the other day with Milo in the background. It's probably one of my favourites so far that we've pulled. Actually, no, I reckon the Zassium we just pulled beats it. Let's see what we can get in the last pack. Thanks so much for watching this far into the video, guys. Really, really appreciate it. And make sure you drop a comment on the video. I'll reply to all the comments on this video. And as always, I'll put a link to our last video in the end screen. Come on, last pack. Got a Psyduck, a Drifloom, a Sudowoodo, a Reverse Hollow Hitmondon, and a Reggie Lecky. Not too bad. Definitely got lots of rares out of this ETB. Alrighty, guys, thanks heaps for watching. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you all next time. Oh yeah, stick around for the box code. Buried it under all the comments. There we go. Thanks heaps for watching us.